Good morning, everyone. Good morning to our grade 12 students of PPOCI. So I am Datu Rafsanjani, Gyalal Aqua LPT Maed, and I will be your professor once again, but this time in your subject in Research Capstone Project. So allow me to share my screen first and foremost. Okay, so this subject, the Capstone Project, was actually the synonymous with your practical research one. Now, in order for you to be able to, uh, to have this subject, the Capstone Project, you should be able to accomplish first or finish your subject first in the practical research one and practical research two before you could have your Capstone Project. Okay, so for this reference, I got it from Professor B.A. Kavsara, Kavsara rather. Okay, for our outline of our discussion for today, we have the introduction. We have the steps that are involved in the Capstone Project, Capstone Project Examples, Capstone Project Proposal Examples, Capstone Project Presentation Guidelines, Capstone Project, and the Evaluation Criteria and Schedule of Deliverables. Okay, first, let's discuss what does it mean when we speak of the Capstone Project, okay? For everybody, uh, please take down notes on the important details and salient points that will be discussed throughout our discussion for this subject. Okay, to begin with, when we speak of the Capstone Project, it means it is a personally designed, independently conducted activity which enables you, no, the person who conducts that project, just like the research who are called the researchers conducting the study, the same with the Capstone project. No? So that person will enable to further their knowledge, your skill in one or more of the course topics which you have found or believed to be especially interesting or beneficial to you. So when we speak of Capstone Project, it is anonymous when we talk about research that for you to have this one, it shapes or uh, sharpen your knowledge, it adds on your additional body of knowledge, and your skill as well will be trained. It will be utilized when you have your capstone project. And of course, it will further help you become a master or become expert, even more expert on your field of specialization. Okay? And something that is, that is interesting to you and beneficial to you. Now, again, Capstone Project is synonymous with the practical research. Now, the project represents a significant portion of your final grade for the course and is therefore expected to represent attainment of, of advanced knowledge, skill, levels on the selected topic. This is the reason why uh, when we give research topics or when we give Capstone Projects to our students, or when we advise you to create your own topic or your own title or your own project to be proposed, it should be on your field of expertise. It should still uh, tell something about your field, okay? It should not go beyond about that, okay? Because if there's someone who could really make it the most out of it, it would be the people who are actually studying for that, okay? So if you're in the, in the STEM, no, um, mostly your capstone project should be in the field of science, technology, okay, engineering and mathematics, okay? So sooner or later, I will be asking you to be proposing your capstone project that is in line with STEM. Now, what are the steps that are involved in the capstone project? Okay, number one, you need to review all course materials and select a topic. Once you decided to pursue a research capstone or a capstone project, you should be ready, okay? The materials that you need to utilize or the skill or the methodologies that you have to do should be taken into consideration. Of course, you have to be prepared, okay? You have to be prepared on whatever demands of that research work would be. And of course, you have to select, of course, your topic, okay? Topic that uh, you find to believe to be especially interesting 
or beneficial to you, not just for the present, but also in your future or on your career life. Okay, and then number two, what is number two? Determine and identify the learning product. Okay, the learning product and means and the means by which you will advance. Okay. Okay, uh, as I was saying in number two steps in the research capstone project, you have to determine and identify the learning product and means by which you will advance your knowledge or skill levels. Of course, you have to identify your topic. Again, the means on how are you going to do that? Because when you conduct your research, when you have your capstone project, number one, it should be realistic. When we speak of realistically done, research or capstone project, all materials should be reliable and it should be visible. It is accessible at all times. It should be there, okay? It should be realized, okay? So it should be realistic first and foremost. And it should not go beyond what is normally expected in the course, okay? That's why you have your limits, no? It is expected that the project will reflect a minimum of 30 hours of concentrated effort on your behalf, okay? And then number three, prepare a brief or one page maximum of Copstone project proposal. Now, when you conduct your project proposal, you should have your copy and you should be providing that copy with your readers. And the proposal must be number one, clearly identify the topic you have chosen. Once you let people present your proposal, it should be really clear, okay? It should not supposed to blur their minds or to, to let them be confused on what are you preparing for or what are you proposing for. It should be clear. Okay, number two, describe the learning product. Once you presented a topic, once you presented a project, it should be briefly and comprehensively explained. It should describe well, what is this all about? How did you come up with this idea? And what are your plans? How we're going to do this? And what do you expect for, to be, for it to, to have its result? Okay, if, and if these are the results, what will be your intervention? That's one thing. Okay, and then describe the means by which you'll advance your knowledge, skill levels in the topic you have chosen. Okay, it should be advanced. It should be well explained. And describe the deliverables products that will be submitted at the end of the semester. You have to identify what are the, uh, the means or what are the things that are needed for you to accomplish that one, okay? Number four, submit your capstone project proposal for consideration and approval. Okay, the same with the research. Once you have your project, it should, it should undergone process. No? You are not allowed to make or to have a project that does not undergone process, that you do not let people on the authorities to know about what is that all about. Okay, so it should uh, accomplish or it should be uh, on the process of consideration and approval. Note the proposal requiring rework will be returned, uh, request for revision and resubmission, which means to say, when you conduct your project or when you propose your project, uh, you undergone on consideration and approval. And there are some cases that it might be rejected or it might be uh, subjected for revision or resubmission. The same with your research work. No? Not in one, 
in one shot, once you give your work, it is perfectly done. Of course, it will undergo corrections and it will be given to you for revision and you have to resubmit that one, okay? The same with the, with the Copstone project. Once your proposal number five has been approved, work towards the completion of your approved capstone project activity throughout the remainder of the semester, okay? That's the time you have to plot all the activities you have, not only with this matter, but also in other subjects in order for you to, uh, to manage your time. It's very important to have your ma time management because this research capstone project will require so much of your time. And then number six, submit your capstone project work in progress reports by the specified due dates. So you have to follow the dates to give or to submit that work. Seven, develop a computer-based presentation of your capstone project experienced by specified due date. So once you have your work, once you have your project, you have to follow and you have to make a presentation or audiovisual presentation or file presentation and a computer base. And then number eight, successfully deliver your Capstone project presentation. After uh, putting up all the materials needed for your proposal, now it is up to you on how are you going to deliver that work. So of course, it also matters once we're inside the hall or inside the, the conference room and then you're going to present your work, okay? It also matters once you deliver or how are you going to present and convince the people who are listening to you that your project is worth accepting for, okay? And then number nine, submit both hard and soft copies of your, of your completed capstone project for final evaluation by specified due date. So it's always stipulated here, the due date, okay? So bear in mind when are you going to submit the different chapters or the different portions of your project. Now, uh, what are the Capstone project examples? We have the following. So application of computer-based tools to solve a problem or create product relevant to your needs or interests. So we have this following, okay? All of this are, uh, you are creating a program or you are creating a project. So for example, creating a computer uh, micro uh, architecture simulator or create a web page editor, that's also a project, or creating a computer controlled remote integrated launch system application, that's one thing, and a customer record maintenance and invoicing database, okay? Do you ever know that when you visit uh, stores and then within the cashiers, they have um, uh, the recorded, uh, recorded maintenance or the machines to top in the the products that you bought, and then the invoicing database is also main product of the Capstone project, okay? Creating a performance profile of an application and make appropriate performance enhancements, or you're going to make a spelling quiz program or basic arithmetic quiz program, record management or DBMS program, a tutorial guide in Pascal programming, the programming, steps, techniques, creating a program, creating a website, creating a spreadsheet, forms, reports, even creating a PowerPoint uh, presentation, MS Access server, organization, okay, are all examples of Capstone project. And there are many more that are not mentioned here, okay? Comprehensive report on the use of computers in your career field. For example, you're going to make GIS or ge geographic information systems or report on impact of internet on children. That's one thing. Report of computer database availability and the use in law enforcement. So this could be also research done, okay? Report on the use of computers to promote natural medicines and their use, and reports on the use of IT or information technology in the social services field. Okay, so once you propose your project, okay, this is how it is done. For example, what is the name of that project? And then the date you presented that. That should be the content of your presentation. So there's here, what is the topic? What is the main subject of that project? And what is, 
what is or what are the products involved? What is your method or what is your means? What are your uh, methods okay, or ways in doing that? And how relevant that project is, how significant it is, how important it is, and then deliverables. Okay, the same with the others. Do not forget that there should be a topic the date you presented. Uh, what is the subject, the product, the ways or the methods, the relevance, and your deliverables? Okay, the guidelines when your project will be graded. Okay, uh, it is also assessed to look on the topic or the topic slide or the title. Okay, the same with the research. It's very important to assess also the topic or the title to assess the weight of the problem, how important it is. And then the project description, okay? How do you describe or uh, give importance on the details of that project? Number three, the outcomes, okay? It's important to assess the outcomes because this is where we see if your project really means something, if it, if it makes sense. Does it really give a benefit to everybody? So we will see on the outcome. And then your lessons learned, okay, along the way when you're conducting that capstone project, what are your learnings? And then your demonstration, okay? So evaluation, capstone proposal is 10%, perceived difficulty of project 20%, originality of solution 10%, thoroughness of the project, how deep the project is, how in-depth the project is, that's 10%. Clarity of your presentation, 10%. Adherence to the proposed deliverables, 10%. Adherence to the project schedule. So do you follow the schedule or the dates of submissions and presenting and updating? And the overall quality of the project is 20%. Okay, so that's the reference of today's topic. Now, on the next meeting, uh, I will, uh, we will talk about more of your capstone project and please remain with your group mates during the research too, because you will still work as one group. So for now, since you were able to know more about the capstone project, uh, next time around, I will ask you on what are your thoughts or what are uh, topics on your mind that you want to propose as a project. But for now, with your group mates, at least you could talk about more on what are your plans on your capstone project. Okay, so that's the end of our lesson for today. Please just be updated at all times in our group chat. And I'll just let you know if there are some updates and news on our subject. So also always visit the e-class. Good day, everyone, and goodbye.